Good evening everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Hope everyone has had a great start to the week so far. Just before we get into this evening's video, make sure that you're smashing a like on it. It really does help get the video out there to more people. Please subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. If you could do me a solid and just hit that subscribe button, that would be very much appreciated. Of course, hit the notification bell so that you're aware of when I'm uploading and going live. And of course, get all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. I just want to start this video off by just thanking um, a few of you that have sent me a message after I appeared on the Just Your Football show last night for the final word for the first time. Um, it was a really good chat, obviously, with Joe, Ollie, Max and Lockie, and I believe it was Jay from the Auto Know Better podcast. Um, it was a good chat um, about the amazing win against Cardiff and, you know, hopefully... I can go on there again. Um, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, big thanks to everybody that tuned in and has sent me a message. That's really much appreciated. And it's actually been on the final word last night, which has kind of inspired this video, really, because I was thinking about it at work today. And Joe brought up the point about um, Daniel Farker and the youth at Leeds United and sort of his handling of the youth, you know, I think the main reason why it, the point was kind of brought up is to do with this whole Charlie Cresswell situation, which for me is rather bizarre how it's how it's been handled. Now, Farker is the manager, so he's in charge. I get that. And I respect his decisions, but it doesn't mean that I have to agree with them. Now, don't get me wrong. Ethan Ampadu slotted in at centre-back against Cardiff and against Peterborough. Um, and did amazingly. Obviously, scored two goals against Peterborough in the Cup, and I thought his performance on Saturday was really, really good alongside Joe Rodon. However, more so, in fact, for the Peterborough game, which sounds daft me saying this because Ampadu scored two goals, but obviously prior to the game, when the team news was announced, I was thinking, why is Charlie Cresswell not even in the squad? Fair enough, maybe not starting, but why is he not even in the squad? And obviously, Farker's come out since in, in press conferences and said, you know, that Cresswell, basically implying that Cresswell has an attitude problem. He didn't really use those words, but it, it was, you know, in, implying that he's got an attitude problem. When in reality, all he's supposedly done is ask for more minutes or ask why he's not getting more minutes, which I feel like is a perfectly valid question given the injuries and issues at, at, at centre-back at the minute. You know, you've got Stroik, who's out injured. We don't know when he'll be back. He might be back for the Preston game. I'm unsure. I'm sure we'll find that out at the end of the week in the presser. Um, you had Cooper, who was out for the Cardiff game and the Peterborough game. So why not give Charlie Cresswell a go? Especially in the Cup game. Um, even Joe Gellart, you know, now, this one I kind of agree with because I, I don't think Joffe is right for Leeds United anymore. But still, from a, a Joffe Gellart point of view, why is he not getting any minutes? Because in the same breath, Fark is saying that he doesn't want them to go and he, he wants them to stay, but then he's not playing them. So it's kind of mixed signals. Now, I get it. Everything... For, the decisions that Farker has made since the turn of the year has worked out brilliantly. We've seen Pat Bamford come back into into the fold. He scored three goals in three games. We've seen Ampadu drop into centre half for the last two games and done brilliantly. We've seen Gruev come in against Cardiff and Peterborough in that midfield and have two really good games. And everybody's really bigging him up now. Even the Leeds United socials are sharing spotlights on him and everything, which is great to see. So I get all that. I get all of the positive decisions. I get it. It's just the youth situation is just a bit strange at the minute. Now, I get it. You know, there's players like Somerville, there's Rutter, who are young players and are playing. Ampadu's actually quite young when you think about it, and he's playing. There's Nonto, who's kind of getting minutes here and there. And I felt how he handled the... Um, Sinistera situation and the Nonto situation at the start of the season was brilliant because that was well deserved. But the Cresswell thing now, you know, he went out on loan 
last season to Millwall and did really well down there. They really liked him. They're actually interested in him again, I think, in this window, along with a few other championship clubs. And obviously, as Phil Hay said on um, the podcast that he does with a square ball earlier, Leeds need to be careful with Charlie Cresswell because if they let him go to a, a fellow rival in this league, like a top six team, which I think Ipswich were rumoured to be interested and then he helps them and he bolsters their defence, then that looks even worse on us. Um, however, if we let him go to like a mid-table championship team, I think, yeah, fair enough. But I would rather it be a loan than a, per than a permanent because, you know, anything can happen in football. Daniel Farker could leave Leeds United in a season or two and then the other manager that comes in after him might have liked Charlie Cresswell and it's just all these things that you've got to look at and yeah this this video is mainly focused on on Charlie Cresswell because I feel like Cresswell could be a good asset to this team especially when we are light at centre-back don't get me wrong like I have to keep caveating because I don't want people coming for me in the comments Ampadu has done amazingly at centre-back and I know he can play there. And again, it's it's a bit of a headache for Farker now because I was just going to say then we need Ampadu back in the midfield. But then I thought Gruev and Kamara did really well as a partnership, albeit Cardiff were bad on Saturday. But then Ampadu more than likely one strikes back. Ampadu is going to go back in midfield. So do you drop Gruev again? But then he's playing well. Then you've got Gray and Kamara. And there's there's loads of headaches at the minute for him. And I get that. I just think the handling of this Charlie Cresswell situation has been a little bit bizarre. And Gellart, you know, he's told Cresswell and Gellart that he wants to keep them at the club, but then won't give them minutes. You know, you've got Celtic and Rangers interested in Joe Gellhart, other championship teams as well. You've got championship clubs interested in Charlie Cresswell. And I get it if they're not part of their plans, but but let them go then. Don't say you want them to stay, but then don't give them minutes. That might be a bit of a naive way of thinking about it. And I get that he probably wants to keep them just for squad options at best, just a numbers thing. But... You've got to think about it from their point of view. They will want to play football. And Cresswell, I think, could be a good asset for us. Maybe not so Joe Gellart anymore. But I guess we'll see before the end of the window how um, Daniel Farker chooses to approach this. You know, will Cresswell and Gellhart both leave the club? I, I personally think that if, if we have assurances that we're going to sign players then they may be let go but if we're not going to sign more than one or two players I, I just don't know it's 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 a really weird one but yeah I just thought I'd jump on and just give my thoughts on that guys as I say hit me up in the comment section with all your thoughts and opinions on the whole Charlie Cresswell situation if you've enjoyed this video make sure that you smash a like on it it really does help get the video out there to more people please subscribe if you are brand new and hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you in a bit. Cheers.